Okay, so this is a rainbow <laughs> trout. This is a rainbow trout. We just caught a big bear lake. We're gonna clean them. Mm. This is a stocked fish. It's probably a female. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, this one, this one might know. be a male. He's this a little bit skinnier than yeah. the other ones. He's got what happens after they're stocked um, in Big Bear Lake after they live there for a year. The meat turns nice and pink. You know, when pink, they're stocked, yeah. they're white. Yeah, this looks like a male. That's, you see the, milk, male. the yeah. milk coming out. So you're going both sides of the backbone. Both sides of the backbone. Because doing half at a time misses, it's a little harder. Yeah, a little harder. The fish slipping yeah. all over the place. And and then you can really come here, down well. Go right through. Go right through once you get to here. And then cut down, but not all really the way through the skin. Because if you do that, you have nothing to hang on to. So now that we're through there, we'll cut down along the meat until we hit those pin bones. And then slice the meat off the ribs with a repeated stroke like that. Yeah, it's got that orangey pink to it. Yeah, orangey pink meat. Right along the ribs, I think perfect. It's, it's what they eat in the lake, which turns them that color. Yeah. And kind of slip the belly up that way. Put the fish over, do the other side. Now we have this now side. Now we're already cut, so we can... We're going to go through the pin bones, the yeah. Y bone again. You feel them, you just cut right through them. And then that'll get you down to the, to the back bones. So you, you need a sharp knife to get yeah. through those bones easily. Yeah. Which mine is not 100% sharp, but... Well, you can hear it going. It's going through those bones. And then you cut down along the ribs. And there you go. You see how cleanly that takes the meat off see, the ribs. A lot of guys there will cut the belly, but you leave it attached to later, hey? Yeah, I leave it attached to later. Okay. And then when I come, I just, I just cut the belly right, right now. Right. Because then it doesn't make as much of a mess. I mean, yeah. all the guts are still intact. You know, this small table here. Just, just cut the head off. Get the fillets on top. So you break the, the tail. Tail attached. Break the, yeah, leave the tail attached. But if you cut through this, then you can get rid of the and head. Get something to guts. hang on to. Yeah. Now you have something to hang on to here. First of all, we do the trimmings. Trim the fins off and the the butthole. <laughs> get rid of that. Clean. Put this one over, do the same on this side. Now that you have that, you can feel the bones. If you feel back towards the fin, the bones kind of pop out, out of the meat, then you can see them. I like to do the top side first, because they angle up towards the top of the meat. So they angle up to the top towards the, towards the f top of the fish. So it's easier to do the top first, actually. So a lot of guys like to do that after the skin's off, and I think it, it a lot of goes with the fish, right? Like a, a, yeah. a, a trout's a softer. Yeah, softer. So you want it softer meat, so you want to do it now. So I do it now, otherwise it's really hard to cut it out. Like a firm walleye, you can get away with oh, peeling yeah. the skin. and You can just peel the skin and then yeah. cut it off later. But this one, the tr fish kind of calls apart when you try to do the manipulation to yeah. get those bones out. Yeah. So then you just angle the knife, make it almost flat, just maybe, what, three degrees, and uh, cut the meat off the skin. You see the skin is perfectly, perfectly clean. clean. Yeah. And then this bone that I cut out here should just pop right out. Yeah. Lift just cut off the end and you're done. There you go. There you there's, go. there's your fillet. There's yeah. a nice rainbow trout fillet. Yeah. Well, let's drop that in the... Pop that in the, in the jar, over, jar here. over there. There we go. Go to the other side. Cut this skin off so you can see what's going on. So same thing again on this side. We uh, run our fingers back, start on the top side of that bone. Just work your way down. You can hear the knife grinding along those. You don't want to yeah. cut through them. You just kind of let the knife follow the bones down to the skin because they almost go all the way to the skin. And then once you're on that side, you go on the inside and cut them out. Oh, it missed them right there. Yeah, you don't even want to be scared to take a little more if you have to because it's yeah. better to not have the bone in your mouth. Yeah, you don't want to eat the For bones. Sure. And we catch a bunch of these, so 
Yeah. If you miss a quarter ounce of But when fish. you're giving the kids a fish and they get a bone there. Yeah, you don't want them to choke on no. the bones. So there. There you go. Meatless fillet. Take that Cut out. that little bone out. See how it comes out once you take it off the skin. And there you go. Once again, there. nice little rainbow, rainbow trout, trout fillet. fillet. And now you need to it. rinse it off and then it's good to go. Yeah. In the bowl. There it goes. Uh, okay. So that's good. That's how we fillet rainbows. Good job.